Hi, I'm Zale, and today we're going to talk about macros and global variables. Um, most people will tell you that you can't do global variables through macros in Foundry VTT. Um, however, with one module, uh, you can easily work around this and attain the functions of global variables, uh, which will allow you to do a lot of things. Uh, so let's go into Foundry. Um, the things you will need for this tutorial are going to be the party resources module, uh, JavaScript knowledge, because this is you know, sort of aimed at making macro systems, uh, patience, and time. Uh, so first what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and unpause, uh, and I'm going to pull up the uh, party resources for my server, and you can see I've got all this stuff. I track a ton of different things with this, but uh, this one in particular, Gathering Shadows, is a essentially a global variable. The players can't see it. If we go into this, uh, you can see I got the icon, the name, the resource ID is very important. Um, default value, minimum, maximum, and uh, we leave this unchecked so that the players can't see it. Now, what this allows us to do is use something like this macro system where we can put in the party level, set one, uh, we'll give it a modifier of two, and we can advance this to stage two. Uh, you'll see it posts the stage two text, we advance to stage two here, um, we can go to stage three, um, you can see it, it'll advance. We can also uh, reduce the stage. You can see it down, goes hit the message. Uh, and so essentially, this is allowing me to track a system for my players uh, outside of the macro. I'm not having to run anything, you know, extra or any scripts or anything crazy. Just one module, set up a global variable. Um, now, the module itself, I'll jump over to Firefox, uh, the module itself, party resources. Um, if you go to the project URL for this, uh, the module author has all of these, um, all of the calls that you can use in a macro so that you can open the dashboard uh, and you can set increment, decrement, all of your values. This is essentially what is letting you get at the global variable functions in the party resources menu. Um, there's <laughs> the the limits of what you can do with this is essentially your imagination. Uh, you could make you know something as simple as this that's just tracking a six stage thing um, and I can just hit a macro and control it, uh, you could do some really wild stuff with random generators and that sort of thing um, with this. Um, I am actually not much of a programmer myself, so I'm really curious to see what some people can do with this. Uh, so if you do use this to get around uh, the lack of global variables in macros, uh, please comment and let me know what you made. I, I would love to see some cool stuff that people do with this. Um, I, I stumbled on it, haven't seen anyone say anything except, oh, no, no, you can't do global variables, but it turns out with the party resources module, you can. Um, and that's, that's pretty much it, just a really short tutorial at how to sort of open up some additional functionality within macros. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. If you did, do all the stuff YouTube wants you to do, like, subscribe, all that. Um, keep checking back for more content. Have a great day, and uh, if you're gaming, I hope you get some awesome loot.